We're waiting for Brie Larson. And oh, my, well, oh, she's here. Oh, look at that. Hey, Brie, what's wow, up? The How first are you? Interview. I just, yeah. I just, I just arrived. Uh, I know. I didn't even know there was a door over there. I didn't crazy. either, but I just yeah. walked through it. Isn't here we cool? go. Absolutely cool. Oh, my God. This movie has been getting <laughs> attention. Attention, attention. I'm seeing it tomorrow. I cannot wait. Oh, it's, awesome. it's my most anticipated film of the festival. Wow. And uh, but it was based on a short film that was about a boy. Yeah. And you are not that. I'm definitely not a boy. Did you see the short film? I did. You did? I did. Okay. How did it go from there? Um, well, the short was sent to me along with the screenplay. And um, it was great because I was able to kind of see very quickly what that world looks like to somebody who doesn't know what that world looks like at all. And was able to see... Destin's incredible style of having so much depth with so little actually said and shown and so much restraint and so much humor and darkness and and just kind of those those deep eternal parts of human beings and that's those are the things that he's expressing in his films and I I just knew that I wanted to do it more than anything. <laughs> right, right. And you've worked with writer directors before, but have you ever worked with a director who is basically almost living the what the story no, is it's no. kind of bleeding out from him isn't it yeah yeah and it's the, the film isn't exactly about his experience but it's very similar to his experiences and there were certain things certain scenes um that going into it Destin would be totally honest and say you know this actually happened to me so I don't I don't know what you're gonna do with this but I know how it's supposed to be and so there's a lot of anticipation but it ended up being one of those weird experiences where I just, I don't know, I just knew how to do it. And Very cool. It was cool to be able to live it and experience it and then to have him not just as someone who creatively I look up to, but somebody who knows the world really well and knew when it was being true to this situation, which is so important when we're trying to deal with a sensitive subject to make sure that it's honestly depicted. Absolutely, and that honesty is, is particularly important, especially since you share so many scenes with kids, you have such dichotomy with kids throughout the story. Yeah. That's a tough thing to pull through, to make it feel genuine and to make it feel like you're both kind of on the same level. Yeah. What was that like working with the kids? You have a wonderful group of, of young actors here. Yeah, they're amazing. I, I, I don't know. If anybody thinks that I did a good job in this film, it's only because of them. Like, they're just... Most of my job with them was just to listen and to understand the rules and... We spent some time um, with them before kind of doing a improv and kind of a fake fake scenarios because if you're in a real foster home, each kid has specific things. They have specific triggers, they have certain ways that you can touch them, certain things, of information about them that you know or you don't know and you understand how to relate to them and you have a very deep um, connection with these kids. and. It's a strange balance between giving so much and being there and being loving and also being completely restrained and strong and firm in yourself so that these kids can't, can't, can't push you. Right, right. So um, we, it was kind of one of those things that just was on and off screen. These, a lot of them, it was either their first job or they were very new to it. So I think that naturally they just kind of looked to me as being the elder and, and they're their spark and their hunger for this and the amount of time and effort that they each put into developing these characters is the most exciting thing I think about this film. Is and that, that mirrors the, the actual film so beautifully. Yeah, exactly. And, and Caitlin as well, just in real life, I feel like we have very similar, I see so much of myself in her, so it, it just made everything, it made everything really easy. I mean, maybe, I just love them so much. They're the best. Now the reception has just been through the roof. Uh, what was it like when you first saw the film? For, when it all came together, what was that experience? It was a very curious experience because I, I had never view, seen so much of myself from every angle. And my first thought was, that's what the back of my head looks like? I had no idea. And that was, I just felt like, what a luxury. Most people don't know what the back of their head looks like when they're walking away. Right. <laughs> now I know. Um, but it's, it was interesting. I mean, it's, I'm not someone who necessarily enjoys watching themselves, but I understand that the films aren't for me. They're not some sort of like great time for me to just like Google myself in a, in a huge theater. Um, <laughs> but uh, I felt like it just reminded me of the time spent actually making the film, which was a really poignant and exciting experience for everybody. And I just feel like the love that we all shared while filming it 
has bled through and I think that's why the film is doing so well and is moving people the way that it is because it's kind of just like this little care package of love that just transcends and it's cool. Very cool. It is very cool. Now you, you worked with Destin. He seems like a great guy. I remember being at the New Beverly with the Scott Pilgrim showing, mm -hmm. and they actually showed your short film, which you co-directed, oh, yeah, yeah. and it was really good. Thanks. It was really, really Thanks. good. I screwed up with the I screwed up with the DVD on that one, so it was uh, a little blurry. It was a little blurry on, on the screen. It was there, to, it meant to be what? seen on the screen, but it was yeah. it was cool. Yeah, absolutely. Do you have a, a bug in you for for directing now? Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, definitely. So we can expect a Brie Larson. Yes, you definitely. I mean, awesome. you can eventually. Awesome. It's. I had a short that um, played that premiered as well at South by Southwest when when Short Term Twelve did. So it was a it was a really cool week of time where it felt like like the acting creative self and the writing directing creative self kind of came together and everybody from Short Term Twelve came and surprised oh, me at the screening of awesome. the short and it it was lovely. It that's was awesome. Lovely. Well, we're a movie site. We love films. Is there any Me film too. out in particular right now? The, the short was the hand, right? Yeah, the that arm. That was the one. The, the arm. arm, that was what Same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Close. A smaller version. <laughs> uh, what are your films that, any films in particular, that you're looking forward to coming out right now? Or that you've seen recently that you really dug? People love recommendations. Ooh, that I saw that recently. Like. I'm trying to think. I've been so completely out of the loop. I just got back from India two days ago, so everything I am thinking about are just weird... India movies that were on Hollywood TV. Films, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm trying to think though. I mean, my favorite films, I mean, I'm trying to think of my favorite ones. Uh, Boogie Night. Oh, hell yes. That's kind of like my You have blanket. to work with Paul Thomas Anderson. I, would, I want that to happen. Of course, I would love we That's what everybody are sending an invitation right wants. now. That's He's like my favorite filmmaker. Human beings. Yeah. You want to be in his film. This person I would want to be. I can't act worth a shit, but I want to be in his film. Of course. But he's, I mean, he's the best. And then totally. I'm obviously a huge fan of everything on the Criterion Collection. I can pretty much close my eyes and point, and it's all, it's all great. Awesome. Um, and so I've been kind of going back through that catalog because those films are all so, um, so wonderful yeah. and so, so dense, and so many of them are foreign. And so it take like Rashomon. I just saw that for the first time. It's amazing. Is amazing, and yeah. I keep, I can't stop thinking about it. It's. Yeah. Which version, what version, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and, and it's such a, it's an incredible way to use film, and that's what I find interesting, is when we take the opportunity of not just making a movie for a sake of vanity or for the sake of just, like, making a movie, but we do it in a way that makes people, that gives these lasting impressions of, uh, and that film in particular, seeing things from a different point of view and what is truth and what is fiction, and blurring those lines and doing it through film is... So <laughs> What's up, man? Um, Andrew, we're at Movie Clips. I this is my most anticipated film of the year. I, I, I of the festival so far. I haven't seen it yet, but I've been hearing nothing but great uh, buzz about it. Some cool. friends of mine have seen it South by Southwest, and they're just exploding around it. Um, so I'm very excited. Obviously, awesome. uh, I want to know though, uh, what was the impetus to change your short film into a feature? When, when we premiered the, the short at Sundance, I, I was actually really surprised by some of the conversations that I had afterwards with people who, were, who really connected with the movie, and I, I guess I wasn't really expecting so many people to connect with that world and that subject matter, and so that was, that was a huge inspiration for me to want to wanna turn it into something longer. Right. And you changed the uh, main character's gender, right? Was that also yeah. like a, something that would spark something new for the story? Yeah, I mean, I tried. I honestly tried writing the the feature, um, expanding the characters exactly as they were, but the, the the short was never meant to be be turned into a feature, so it just didn't feel right. And as soon as I changed the main character from a male to a female, it became frightening for me to write, uh, which which was also just made it feel fresh and made it feel new. At what point uh, in the casting process did you think, oh, Bri, I found my, I found my lead? I mean, it was my first conversation with Bree where I saw, I saw Grace in her. Um, Grace is the main character of the fe of the film, and she, it was just, I mean, we, she didn't audition. We just had a conversation, and she was talk talking about how she saw the movie and how she saw that character, and. 
there was um, by the end of that conversation, I just I just knew she'd be perfect for it. Right, so, right. Yeah. And tonally, I've heard that it changes tones all over the place. How do you approach that in terms of writing? Do you know how you're going to kind of tackle it, or is it just something intuitive when you find on the set? Well, the the movie, um, my 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 attempt at writing this movie was to to try to to get as close as I could to the world that I experienced um, while I was working at that place and the tone of that world which is full of humor and full of you know tragedy and full of some of the most blissful moments that I've ever had in my life so it, all of those emotions where it was pretty commonplace for for myself to go through a huge roller coaster every single day and so yeah and wh while I was writing I was I knew that this that this movie would incorporate all those things, um, and from the beginning to end, we just tried to make it as believable as we could. Great. Well, the the film has just been getting major praise. Like I said, South by Southwest, Grand Jury, and uh, how has that been? How's it now going to uh, the LA Film Festival premiere? We're we're pumped to be here because we this is our this is where we shot the movie. This is this is where almost everybody from our cast and crew are are from, and so. Yeah, I'm really excited to show it here and really excited to have some conversations with people afterwards. Very cool. Do you have any future projects or ideas boiling up inside right now? Um, yeah, I've got some some things brewing, but I'm not I'm not exactly sure what, what I'm going to do next. Very yeah. cool. Well, thank you so much. I'm seeing this tomorrow, and I could not be more excited, man. Seriously, oh, we're, we're, we're hearing a lot of great things. Thanks so much. Thanks, man. Have a good one. Yeah, you too. Great question. You know, it came to me uh, uh, last summer. I was back home in New York, and uh, just one day, uh, checked my email, and I had this script my agent had sent me uh, called Short Term 12. And um, I think, uh, I don't know for sure, I haven't really ever fully confirmed it, but I'm pretty sure, you know, Brie Larson was cast as the lead role of Grace and I think that she had had a discussion with the director about you know who to play the supporting role who to play her boyfriend and my name had been tossed around a little bit so they decided to send it to me and see what I thought and I read it and it, I, 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 I'm not kidding it was just one of the one of the most amazing things I've ever read it was one of the best scripts that my eyes have ever touched and um, and so I left it the chance to become involved and then once I met Brie and I met Destin it was just so clear that that you know it, it was it was destined to be kind of a labor of love and everybody's head and heart were really in the right places with it and then you know making it was an amazing experience and uh, premiering in South by Southwest was you know above and beyond what I could have imagined for it and so I'm so excited that you know more people are going to get a chance to see it now very cool did you see the short film that he made or did you draw anything I did they sent the short to me uh, when I was when they when they sent me this script to, to consider and um, as if the script wasn't good enough I then watched the short um, and w what it does in such a short amount of time is so profound. The the kind of emotional roller coaster that takes you on in, in something like I think it's maybe 12 minutes, 13 minutes. It's very very short. It, it, that was when I knew that that Destin was really really a genius, right. uh, and that th what he was able to do with that, I thought, well, I. I I have no no doubts uh, in him at that point. I knew that he was going to be able to deliver a really, really strong uh, feature film, and he, he absolutely did, and then some. Very cool. Now, one of the things that's particularly amazing about this film is uh, kind of the relationships you guys have with the kids. Yeah. What was it like working with, with these young guys? I mean, I by the end of the shoot, I thought, i got to go back to school and take some more acting classes. And they, I mean, I just felt right. like they just showed up, and... You know that you know we we've got it was a, an age range from 13 to 21 basically for all the kids. Um, I think the oldest really the only the only one not in in their teens was Keith Stanfield who plays Marcus. I think he was 20 or 21 when we were shooting, but he was in the short and he was about 18 at that time. Um, and uh, they were just unbelievable. I mean, it was so inspiring to see such untapped like natural talent because so many of them hadn't really done that much prior to. And also, when you have like a, a you know a team leader like Destin a at the helm, it just creates a really kind of lovely environment. And much like in the film, like you said, you know, even though there's there's these you know really amazing you know children that tr you know child characters and child actors, there was a you know not that w we weren't taking proper care of them and like prop you know giving them proper nourishment, but there wasn't that condescension. It wasn't like people were being handled with kid gloves. It was a very 
from the beginning it was it was it was kind of obvious that it was all an equal playing field that we were all here to do the same thing we're all here to do um, good work and you know that where we shot in, in that facility we you know we basically were in rooms like our dressing rooms were rooms that weren't unlike the rooms that the characters at the at the facility in the, in the film you know live in and so I had a little room with like my bunk beds and everything and we were all kind of in the same place and so it was really it was just a little kind of Garden of Eden that, being on set with uh, with with those kids they're amazing and the work that they do on on screen just speaks for itself well this is also a huge summer for you with the newsroom coming out yeah. I have a question I, I have this thing going on where whenever something happens the first thing immediately that goes in my mind is how is that going to fit in with the newsroom? Yeah. What's Aaron Sorkin going to do with it? Do you have that same thing going on? No, I mean not really, <laughs> not because I, in a, in a sense there's so much. I mean, yes. so much happens in the world, and now that we now that we have uh, you know such a more vibrant than ever 24-hour news cycle thanks to social media and the internet, um, it's just so impossible to keep up with everything. And so the minute I start thinking about oh how would this get dealt with, with you know how's Aaron going to write about this, and <laughs> another news story breaks, exactly. and I think well how are they going to have time to fit all of them? In. So I think what he does is he really he kind of make, wants to make sure that whatever news story gets tackled on the show, it, it, it has to be there in a way that it can pertain to whatever the personal struggles of all the characters are, right. so that he's not just you know, so that it doesn't become like he's exploiting something yeah, that exactly. actually happened and affected a lot of people, you know. All right, well, congratulations on the film, man. I much. cannot wait to see. I'm seeing it tomorrow. Oh, I can't wait. Awesome. What's up, man? What's up, man? Oh, How you doing? I'm great. How are you? So this is your first movie, and I've heard. I haven't seen it. I'm seeing it tomorrow. I've heard it's amazing. And I've heard you're great in it. Awesome. And uh, so now that we have that out of the way, <laughs> how what was your experience when you first saw it? Um, I was actually surprised. Like I knew it was gonna be good, like just from like actually just being there every day. But when I actually saw it all put together, it was crazy. And it was like some wizard sprinkled some stuff on there and made that made it crazy, like to the tenth degree. So I was really excited. Right. It was awesome. Right. You like it, man? A uh, dude, I can't. I can't wait. Uh, seriously, South by Southwest you got grand jury prize. Uh, for a few of my friends have seen it, have mm -hmm. just been praising it. Yeah. Um. So how has that experience after you saw it, South by Southwest grand jury? Now at the LA Film Festival, how is this kind of the reception? Because it's a first read. Stoked. Really? Yeah, that kind of sums everything up. It's stoked, man. Like, it's crazy. It's a crazy experience, and I'm just taking it all in and feeling good about it, man. I'm glad everyone can connect with it. Like, that's awesome. Yeah, that's great, dude. Do you have any plans coming up? Um, I plan to dance. I don't know if you could plan that because I just do whatever I feel. But, you know. What was it about this project that really attracted you? I think it was just the cast that got me all together because there's like just so many kids in that movie and then like director would the director Destin would come and you know talk with us there would be such a bond with all of us that made the movie I think really great because everyone knew each other outside the film and inside of it we all acted like you know we were there we were fam family already so I think that's what made that you know that chemistry really really great and genuine so I think what about this movie is just that there's a lot of like love to it right there's a chemistry to you guys, to the adults and the kids, and just like a dichotomy between you, which is something you don't see a lot in movies. And you think it's because of the kind of familial family oh, elements yeah, that you totally. have outside, like, right? Like you're supposed, to, you're acting like you're supposed to know all these kids, and like you've been living with them for like past couple of five years. Right. How, how can you do that, you know? So like to get on it, just like in three or four months, just to get to know them so much, and then like we got to play around before shooting and all that, you know, we had such a Big, like I said, big chemistry. So that's what makes it like really like like real. You know, it's not acting. Like right. we we would play around with each other, and then like we'd also do that while we're filming. So that's like Very that's cool. what makes it really good. It was really interesting. I almost didn't do it at first. It was a um, it was a really tiring day. It was hot. It was last year. It was just blazing in the summer, and um, I eventually just kind of got off off my lazy butt and did it. And it, as soon as I did it, I just kind of realized, I was like, that was oddly serendipitous. And I think as soon as I got on set, I knew that there was something special about this because the energy on set was just phenomenal. Everyone just bonded immediately, even the cast and the crew. We just all just became like this big family. It was an amazing first experience. The first time I saw the film was out here in LA uh, at the producer's office. Very cool. It was just like a very like a big screen, just kind of quick run through, just me and my dad. And I cried. I don't cry at movies. I cried at Toy Story 3. That was it. <laughs> that was it. You and me both. And I cried at that movie. It was 
I was only on set for the group home scenes and just to see the movie string together, it was a great thing on script. It was a beautiful thing. Oh, that's great, man. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Hello. Hi, Hello. Caitlin. Hi. How are you? Nice to meet you. Great. So this movie has just been a phenomenal hit for the summer. Yeah. South by Southwest, huge reception. Yeah. What was your uh, involvement? How did you get involved with it? Um, well, at first I just got sent the script um, from my agent, and I read it immediately, and I thought it was so wonderful, and it was just so amazing, and the writing was awesome, and I really thought that my character, Jaden, would be a really cool character to play, and that I would really have to like dig in deep to, to find her and really portray her and she was like such a deep and like depressed it was just so I, I just wanted to play her so bad because it was like it would be the most character cha like I would have to really change myself and so I was really looking forward to that and then I, I did an audition and they called me right back and I did a call back and I pretty much booked it I like like the day after or maybe that night and I was just I was I was so, like, I was jumping up and down. I was so excited to... That's awesome. Yeah. Did you see the short film that Dustin made? I did, but I didn't see it um, before I auditioned. Oh, so yeah. I kind of... I kind of yeah, I kind I kind of came in fresh, and I saw it afterwards. Right. Everyone became so so close. It was so awesome. It just made everything easier. Like the scenes when the actors are so good, it just makes everything flow a lot better. And Destin was so so amazing. He's so comple like completely down to earth, and he's just he he's so like easygoing, and he kind of he did give like direct like direction, mm -hmm. but he kind of let me find the character on my own as well which I loved and he just had he had a vision and he did an amazing job and the film I think it, it's beautiful it speaks I think. for itself yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely uh, so what was it like when you first saw it because the experience of making it was phenomenal obviously yeah. what was that moment like Can you well the moment I saw it, it we um, it was a first screening at South by Southwest. Ooh, so that great was the audience. first time. Yeah, it was the first time I saw it. So like I would look over and some guy would be crying and then I'd look over again and he'd be laughing and it was just I think it's a lot better to see it with an audience for your first time. It was really it was really cool. That's so cool. And now you're here at the LA Film Festival. The journey from South by Southwest to here, the reception, the buzz that you've been getting. Yeah. That everybody's yeah. been getting. How is that going for you? It's so I'm like so happy for everyone. I mean, like when we won the South by Southwest jury prize, Destin, I was sitting next to him and he couldn't even stand up when they announced his name. He was like, <laughs> he was like, everyone was just crying and we were all so happy for everyone because we worked so hard on the film and it was just, it was just a team effort and and, and, and I'm, I'm so proud of Destin too because he's just That's so great. amazing. Yeah. That's great. All right, last question. We're a movie site. We love movies. Mm -hmm. What are some movies that you're looking forward to or that you've recently seen that you've loved? Oh gosh, um, I recently just, uh, my parents let me see The Master. Oh my gosh, wait, 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 no, 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 no. Okay. I just saw New Game. New Game, okay, Django. Oh! I just saw that like three days ago. That was really... Unchained. Just, I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, Django Unchained. I call it Django for some reason, but Django Unchained. Here. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, that was good. Very cool. I, the master after that after I saw the master I mean I'm like Joaquin Phoenix is one of my like favorite actors but um, after I saw the master I was really confused like I didn't know what happened maybe I need to see it again to understand the concept and the story good time, good time. <laughs>